Listen, if you're part of this group, I already explained this a dozen times. Feel free to enter Fort Armel, but the inn is full. There's no more room. And the Jarl's Keep is off limits too, of course. King Jorin and the Ebenhardt Pact leaders are meeting here. Between the Nords, the Argonians, and the Dark Elf contingent, they filled up the inn. They even had to set up tents on the far side of town. That's not for me to say. I don't even want to guess. Commander Ian might have an idea, but you'd have to get it out of him. Whatever the King's business is, though, it must be urgent to call the various leaders of the pack together so suddenly. Let's ride. That lazy skiver, I'm going to kill you. What do you want? Someone steal your gold pouch or something? What's it matter to you? Have business with the king, do you? We stand in line with the rest of the peasants. Seems like every alley rat decided to show up and whine about something when they heard the king was coming. But he's not here for that. King shows up with his honor guard and all the pact officials clearly up to something important. And you just expect me to tell you what that is? Did you always get milk when you whined for it as a baby? Be off! I need to find one of my guards. You're going to stick your nose into this no matter what I say, aren't you? Fine. Thod decided to have a drink with the Prince's entourage last night. Haven't seen him since. Probably passed out somewhere. But I can't be too careful right now. I just want this all to be over. We're not used to dealing with so many different groups all in one place. All right. Fine thought, and I might let some information slip. We'll leave it at that. The tales of Nords and their mead drinking are legendary, but Yegi here? He's absolutely epic. He's been drinking for two days straight now. Two days! You must mean that drunken idiot who tried to keep up with Yegi. He wasn't even in the same league. Whatever he was drinking was pretty foul, though. It smelled more like wet kagouti than sweet mead. I think it might have been Argonian. He wandered toward the river, carrying a few bottles of that vile Argonian beverage. He's probably still down there. I'd wager he's either passed out or nursing a bad headache right about now. The hatching pools recover due to your efforts. You are truly a friend to the Hist. Oh yes, Naryu. Whatever you say, Naryu. I don't want to. Want to sleep. A perfectly good dream. Oh, Naryu. I love you, Naryu. Oh yes, Naryu. Whatever you say, Naryu. If you're still looking for Thod, I wouldn't worry about it. He and the commander headed for the barracks. Thod's getting an earful, I'm sure. I apologize if we wasted your time. I'm sure it was one of the other guards. There are a lot of us, and we're known to relax with a bottle of mead or two when we're off duty. And never to excess. 
So really, I wouldn't worry about it. Listen, I saw them both just a moment ago, and unlike the commander, I slept last night. Now, it's not that I don't believe you found a drunk node by the river. It wouldn't be the first time. It's just that it can't be Thawd. I can prove it. Both the commander and Thawd headed towards the barracks on the west side of town. If you hurry, you should be able to catch up with them. Then you can go get a drink and relax. Seems like you could use it. in such a hurry. It's starting to get on my nerves. You're enjoying that body too much, I think. Why, well, I have a mind to... Hmm, can I help you with something? The Fort Amol Guard barracks are off limits, so I hope you don't plan on trying to get inside. The commander is occupied by other matters at the moment. As one of the officials helping coordinate efforts at Fort Amol, perhaps I could be of service? I am a noble, and an advisor to the Jarl of Fort Amol. I have been charged with making sure that all of our esteemed guests are well cared for. I assume you are part of King Joran's guard if you seek to speak with Commander Iarn? Ah, yes. Thawd. Of course, he was just here, as a matter of fact. You just missed him. You weren't the one looking for him earlier by chance. Iarn mentioned someone looking into guard business. Not many folks care about Thawd. Well, how about I help you instead? Eon has been on edge of late. Perhaps the King's presence makes him nervous. Or it's all these foreigners. Who knows? But he has been acting strange. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. You seem eager to help, so I'm giving you something to do. If I toss around false accusations or involve the King's guards, it might seem like Fort Amol can't deal with its own problems. Trail the commander. Determine if my fears are justified. Hide behind the rocks nearby and wait for Iarn. You wouldn't want him to know you were following him now, would you? insult my intelligence. I know we only get one chance at this. Besides, word from the inside is that things are going well. Good, good. I took care of things on my end. I stuffed all of the duplicates in Marla's house. As long as no one was around. <laughs>
I'm afraid you just missed Commander Eon. Again. He was in a hurry. He always seems to run when everyone else around here just saunters. Have you been drinking with Thane Yegi and the soldiers? What? All of this in Marla's house? You have to understand how strange this sounds. You're telling me that the commander I was just speaking to is actually dead? And there are others? Including two dead Marlas? After that story, I think I might be the one who needs a drink. Well, thanks for the information. I'll make sure to look into these accusations as soon as I can. But you're not going to give up on this, are you? Liz, let's say I believe you. Let's say there are Stormfist agents impersonating people in Fort Armel. Even if all of this is true, we can't start a panic. The leaders of the Pact are here for kind's sake. No, 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 I didn't say that. I just don't want you running around crying murder, especially with the Pact delegations here. Think of how fragile our alliance already is. You should speak to Lord Velop. Tell him what you told me. He's the Jarl's advisor. He has his hand in everything that happens around here. Tell him what you told me. Leave nothing out. Velop's smart. If what you say is true, and by kind, I hope it isn't, he'll know what to do, without causing a panic. You'll probably find Lord Velop in the inn. Like most Nords, he enjoys his mead. And I understand that nobles can get particularly thirsty when the king is in town. You have to look at this from my point of view. A stranger walks into town and makes outlandish claims about spies and impostors and murders. How do I know that you're not one of these Stormfist traitors trying to cause trouble? You certainly are insistent. I'll grant you that much. Look, I'll check the house as soon as I can. In the meantime, go talk to Lord Verla. Shaw's bones if there really are spies in Fort Armel. His lordship will know what to do. So, was the hunt successful? Did you find out what nefariousness our good commander Eon is up to? What? No. I never imagined. I think you better tell me what happened, friend, and start at the beginning. Lower your voice. This can't be. How could Fildgore's soldiers get into the fort without being noticed? Did you tell anyone else about this? I'll need to have a word with Loanor. The implications for the pact are horrifying. Dark elves and Nords have died. Finger-pointing will escalate into violence as soon as word gets out. Especially with Prince Ernskar's temper. Go to the Nord camp and speak with Thane Harvald. He's honorable and intelligent. I'm sure he'll want to keep this quiet. He also possesses common sense. If anyone knows how we should approach this problem, it's Thane Harvald. don't need the help of the weakling Argonians and the cowardly Dark Elves. We can win this war on our own. Your uncle Filgor has allied himself with the Stormfist clan and the Orcs, my prince. We need all the help we can get. You need to apologize to the delegates and get them back to the table before this rift grows any Let wider. Let the pact shatter and fall for all I care. We need no one but our the prince and his hot temper. He decided to hold his own meeting, while the King and the Pact Ambassadors meet at the Keep. He managed to insult both the Dark Elves and the Argonians with his posturing and boastfulness. Talk freely. Thane Oda is as trustworthy as I. But understand that I have enough trouble as it is, and I don't need any more bad news. I have my hands full trying to figure out how to calm the Prince, and get the packed delegates back to the meeting. And 
That's not what I wanted to hear. The Prince will have to be told about this, of course. And the Argonian and Dark Elf delegates. They need to be able to protect themselves. I can't keep secrets from my Prince, no matter how hot-headed he may be. I'll make him understand the seriousness of the situation. But I doubt the Argonians and Dark Elves will listen. They were very angry when they marched back to their camps. Perhaps, if you say that King Yoran sent you, they might not forgive the Prince and return immediately, but they might listen to you. They need to know that we value the Pact and their companionship. Do whatever it takes to make them happy. What does he always do? He opened his mouth and let words fall out. He said many terrible things and drove them away. And all his father asked him to do was coordinate troop movements and battle plans while the Council of War was in session. Hey, grab a drink! Oh, whatever may I assist you with? Perhaps you need your pillow fluffed? Or maybe you need me to cut up your food for you? Wait, I know you. From Deshaun. Don't say a word. No one must know who or what I am. Shh, no one needs to know that. Veron gave me my first solo contract. It's a special one. The target's around here somewhere, but I haven't pinpointed where just yet, so I'm in disguise. Not my first choice of garb, but it works. Geld is an idiot, and the prince is, well, he's a royal idiot. Bringing those two together might hurt more than help with any problems you have here. But since you asked so nicely, I can help. Might even get me closer to my goal. I can be rather convincing when I need to be, especially in this attire. The Jarl keeps some of his best wine locked away in the barracks. Snag a couple of bottles for me. Just be careful in there. The guards don't like visitors. Well, I hate to hide such good looks. You're going to need a disguise, a guard uniform. I saw one of those idiots splashing around in the river not too long ago. If he's still there, you might be able to borrow his armor. For a friend, anything. One of the guards hates cats. Earlier, I saw a cat run into the building. The guard chased it for an hour. Bring a cat with you. It might prove useful. I saw a bunch of them following the Argonians around. Try over there. Keeping myself busy. Oh yes, Naryu. Whatever you say, Naryu. I figured out why cats like us so much. It's because we are so beautiful, and we smell good. Excuse me, but who are you? And why is King Yorin requesting any help from us? The prince made it very clear that he thinks very little of my Eggkin and I. Why we even bothered coming here is beyond me. The prince cares nothing for us. He refused to send any help to my kin in Darkwater Crossing. The trolls wander the town now, and only the Hiss knows what happened to my people. I offer the same thing to you as the Prince offered to me. Nothing. King Yorin is a good man, strong and wise. I hear he hates cats. He gave shelter to my people when they fled from the Stormfists and their orc allies. But that doesn't change the current situation, and Prince Ernskar is still a Gwarlicker. It's too late to help Darkwater but not to reclaim our honor. A deal, then. If you remove the head of the large troll we call Death in Winter and bring it to me, I will consider returning to Ernskar's meeting for the king.
There is an urgent task for you. Over here, Initiate. Battle is won. Cities are as alive, fickle, and uncertain as people. Some are good, some are bad. Some give you gifts, others Did you rob drink you blind. My drink? The guild requests your help. What's that smell? It's awful. My people came to Fort Amel from the west, but the town wasn't big enough to absorb them. They settled at Darkwater Crossing. Then the trolls came. You have done what that arrogant prince would not do. Thank you. Perhaps. That is for them to decide. But at least they have that choice. Like King Yorin, you demonstrate honor. I will return to the prince's meeting and hear what he has to say. You have earned that much. Kind's name was that. What are you doing in here? Get out!
What in time's name was that? Do you know what that sweat had me fetch while you were gone? Food from the other tent, as if walking ten feet would kill him. I got the food, though. Added a special berry, too. His stomach would appreciate it. I knew I could count on you. Reliability is an admirable trait. This will taste good. Probably make taking orders from that barking dog over there a bit more tolerable. And it should be enough to get the job done. To get Gelds nice and comfortable. Then I'll convince him that what he just drank was poisoned. Lucky for him, I have the antidote. Of course, he'll do whatever I want to get it. And that should be very entertaining. Of course. How did you think I was going to convince him? Now, do me a favor and stay alert out there. I've seen enough shadows and sheepish grins to know that something isn't right in Fort Armor. But that's why I'm here now, isn't it? I heard that you've been hard at work. A powerful troll for the Argonians? Really? That's quite remarkable. And I spoke to Prince Ernskar. He agrees that he might have been a little arrogant. Especially when I told him what you discovered. Maybe now we can all get back to the business at hand, instead of just throwing insults at each other. With the pact working together again, we should be able to sniff out Filgor's spies easily enough. Now my only concern is for the king. He surrounded himself with our strongest warriors. But the element of surprise gives Fildgor an advantage. After what you said the Stormfists have already accomplished, how can we trust anyone on the other side of the Keep's Gate? I know King Yoren requested privacy for this meeting with the Ambassadors. But I can't just assume everything is alright. Actually, Lord Verlop suggested that you two take care of it. I need to keep the Prince in line, and we don't want to tip our hand to the Stormfists. Besides, I know you can handle yourself. Get in there and secure the King. The gates have been sealed since we arrived, but Lord Verlop should be able to open them. King Yoran was adamant that no one disturbed the meeting. I imagine that whatever they are discussing in there, Fieldgore is definitely at the heart of it. King Yoran is guarded by a squad of soldiers he selected personally. I'm sure everything is fine. Still, we can't be too careful. But I don't want to embarrass the king needlessly. You and Lord Verlop can handle this. I have faith in you. That's strange. Where are the guards? Oh, that's right. They're dead. Just like you're about to be. You know, you were a real pain in my side. I sent you after Iarn and Marla, but somehow you survived. Then I sent you to sabotage the Prince. But instead, you brought the pact together. Well, if you want something done, you just have to do it yourself. Move or call out and lose your tongue. Simple, Wait. right? Wait! Don't kill me! I... I can help you. Yoron's still alive. You need me. No one likes a liar, Nord. No one. Let's talk, hero. 
Why did I ever let Baron convince me to come to Eastmarch? Told you something bad was gonna happen. I didn't want you to walk into this trap alone, so I followed you. Good thing, too. I've been tracking a Breton illusionist by the name of Dalin for a while now. The villain created quite a stir by assassinating a few nobles in Mournhold recently. I discovered that he took a contract with Fieldgore and tracked him to this region. Not exactly, but I'd wager he's inside the keep. I'm not sure what we'll find in there, but you'll need to be quick. Dalin's already a step ahead of us. The man bought Verlop with a promise of gold. Who knows who else he's got on his side. I need to make sure our Alliance friends are playing nice with each other. Then I'll meet up with you. I'll try to get out of this damn dress and into some proper clothing. How do women wear stuff like this all the time? I... Well, thanks. Maybe I could get used to wearing such finery when things aren't so dangerous. <laughs> what am I saying? Get your ass in there and save King Yorin! We're surrounded by the enemy. The big bad storm fists are outside. Maybe we should go upstairs so I can protect you all proper like. People really frustrate me sometimes. Maybe we should go upstairs so I can protect you. Who even says that? He could have complimented my eyes or my... Never mind. He's one of Dalin's thugs. No sign of the king, though. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Windows are wonderful things, my darling. No one ever remembers to lock them. I'm sure you've crawled into or out of more than a few windows over the course of your adventures. I found two doors in here, but they're both locked tight. I'm sure the king is behind one of those doors. We just need to figure out how to open them. I don't think you'll just find a key lying around. But you never know. I'll check down here. Take a look upstairs and see if you can find anything. So you have finally come to the aid of a king. Thank you for all your hard work here in Fort Amal. I can't say that Warlock was as useful as I hoped, but he served his purpose, right? I mean, just look at me. Stunning, am I not? A Breton leading the Nords. Who would have thought of it? For all intent and purposes, I am the real king now. Any who would challenge that are being dealt with. But I wanted to congratulate you. So many lives lost because of you. I'm envious that poor guard Floenor, greedy Lord Verlop, the mind reels. <laughs> Verlop 
did say that he would take care of her, didn't he? My poor Verlop was many things, but a liar wasn't one of them. Then there's that pretty little dark elf outside. The feisty one. She'll be a fun one to kill. And of course, King Euron. He's enjoying a gift from Fildgor. The king that saved his people from the Akaviri, killed by his own brother. Yet, no one will ever know. No, they will find the body of poor Dalin the Briton, defeated by their heroic king. Oh, that would be me. Well, yes, that's the entire point of why we're here. Now I must apologize, I have matters to attend to. You'll find that my guards now control the manor. You can try to stop us, but I doubt you'll have very much luck. Darlin said you were coming after us. Let's see how you handle two of the best warriors of the Soldier's Brigade. Careful there! Well done. Too little, too late, though. The False King is dead. Once you join him, Fildgore will rule this land. King Yorin's breathing is shallow. The poison Dalin used, it's tainted. Daedric, I'm not sure what it's doing to this poor man, but I don't think he will survive. The illusionist fooled us all. His magic allowed the Stormfist to look like people we trusted. Something in the wine we shared, we think. One of them took the form of the king's servant. He poisoned the king's dinner. Fighting broke out as soon as King Yorin fell ill. We dragged him away from the meeting and locked ourselves in here. When the storm fist broke in, I thought we were finished. If that woman hadn't shown up, we'd probably be dead right now. She never identified herself. When the storm fist broke in, she just appeared out of nowhere and put two daggers in their backs. Then she told us help was coming and she ran off. She wore a helmet, but I'm pretty sure she was a dark elf. We should be fine, and we're not helpless. We can protect the king. But please hurry just the same. I don't know how long he can resist the poison. I figured it'd be up here. Another contract completed by, well, you again. I wonder if the tongue is testing me or something. Still, a success is a success, right? I hope I didn't scare the Ambassadors too badly. When you entered the safe room, I heard the Ambassadors trying to be quiet upstairs. Next thing I know, Stormfist thugs are waving their axes around and attacking the manor. I was about to leave the same way I entered. Well, I couldn't let you have all the fun. Seriously, you have to understand. My organization used to be respected. Now we're hunted for what we were, what we represented. That has to change. I was talking about you, but I also figured more backup wouldn't hurt. Ernskar and his guards are downstairs. They rushed over as soon as the fighting started. But King Euron, he didn't look so good. He's not going to make it, is he? Fildegor plays dirty. I wish I could help more, but I've already overstepped the limits of my contract. I need to get back to Mournhold. A new matter involving a rival group has become an issue. These people still need your help, Hero. Always the hero, aren't you? I'm kidding. I'll find you again when I need your help. In fact, I'd like that. Now go. Save King Yorin. He needs you more than I do at the moment. I heard that the ghost of Queen... Where is my father? What did our so-called allies do to him? I'll kill every single Argonian and Dark Elf myself if my father's been harmed. Filgor might have driven the blade, but...
But the Dark Elves and Argonians did nothing to protect my father. Now where is he? Tell me! Guards, go to the king at once. As for you, what's your involvement in all this? Why are you here? Then we are allies, for now. I must go to my father. I don't care how we do it, but his life must be saved. My father can't die. Filgore will not win this war. Not this way. I forbid it. There must be something we can do for the king. 